If you watched my video from Black Friday, you'll know that I went to the Microsoft store in my local mall to buy a new 950 XL, the XL version. Now, if you buy it from Microsoft, whether it's online or a physical store, between now and January 31st, 2016, now that may change, but that's what it is right now, you can get a free Continuum Display Port. And this allows you to hook up your phone to a monitor, keyboard, and mouse and use it actually as a PC. It's got a great 8-core uh, Snapdragon processor in it, so it, uh, it, it really uh, is a snappy little phone. Uh, now the 950, you don't get this only from by the XL and only from Microsoft. You can't go to an AT&T store. Well, you can't get the XL in the uh, AT&T store anyways. Uh, but if you act now between now and then, uh, you'll get an email with the uh, code to uh, send in. So you can redeem it for one of these. Now you don't get it for eight to ten weeks. I went and bought one anyways for demo purposes, but you'll get one of these for absolutely free if you go through this process. And that's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you uh, the process and the uh, text from both of them because I didn't think it was available uh, except online, and it was a mistake and I had bought it on the store. But the verbiage on the uh, if you go online is different than what you see. Uh, when you go talk to the representatives in the store. So, uh, with that, let's go take a look at the, the, the display port and first how to get one and how to turn in your uh, code in order to get it for free. What you first should understand is that uh, even though the agreement here says that it's on the online store, it also is for brick and mortar. I was worried about that because I had bought my phone at a brick and mortar shop. Well, here's the email from their internal that says it's both brick and mortar and online so we're okay so long as you didn't buy this from AT&T you bought it directly from Microsoft either their store or online you're okay so what happens well after you get your phone fired up there's an app installed and you can't install it on any other version except uh, this one and it's called and it comes installed it's called Lumia offers and they're gonna put offers here now and then and all you have to do is look at terms and conditions and all that crap but then we're gonna go ahead and go click on uh, continue and uh, it, it goes out and scans to see what offers are currently being offered. And in this case, uh, when it comes back, it says, oh, display stock offer. So I click on that, and here we go. It goes in here and it shows that uh, there it is. Now, it already displays the email address I have on the phone and plus what I bought it with uh, when I registered the device. Uh, but you can actually put another one here, I believe. And uh, put it in there, and it'll send the email, the offered uh, that once they've confirmed it to that uh, email address. So uh, after reading all the stuff and uh, making sure I was going to do the right thing, I pressed on the continue. It took a while for it to come back. I've cut it down here a little bit. But it comes back and it says, oh, thank you. So now uh, it's saying that everything's cool and they'll send you an email with the uh, code. Well, the problem is that I expect from Microsoft at least immediate response. I didn't get one, didn't get one. Eventually, I talked to them, their customer service, and yes, you can resend this, but don't just wait a day or so because you'll get the email. Well, the truth be told, I, I didn't wait, and I got like four of them in here, but eventually the next day they did come in. So all I have to do is click on the claim button, and you'll get the code uh, to use at the store. So I highlighted it here and said copy, and I uh, clicked on the claim offer button at the bottom of the screen. Now that led me to the next page, and the next page being the display dock, it said, out of stock. Well, as this refreshes, you can see the button for a second. And I called Microsoft again, and it'll be restocked, and you can push the button here later. But now, uh, after you get that uh, claim done and you get registered, it takes four to six weeks for your display dock to show up. So there comes that glorious day in the mail, and there you have your new display dock. So we're going to take a look at it now and show you how to uh, fix it or unbox it, show you how to plug it all in. So first... Uh, uh, obviously, uh, open the box up, and that's it. That's your display dock. So I'm going to take the uh, nice plastic wrapping here around it. And the phone was wrapped this way, too. It was very easy to remove. So it's actually an improvement in wrapping as well. So after I uh, played with the plastic a little bit, uh, here's the display dock. Very nice. Looks really uh, nice and modern. Nice design. Now, that's the connection for your phone. 
and here's all the connection for your accessories. Now as you can see you've got three USB ports, those are 2.0 by the way. You have the power connector for this and then you have a DVI and HDMI. Now the power connector it comes with that in the box so let's take a look at that. You're going to need probably both of these cables uh, in here. Uh, well, anyways, uh, once you defeat the box in uh, the battle and you pull it open You'll see here we have both the power supply with a new type of connector, power connector, and a dual-headed USB-C. One goes in the dock and one goes in the phone. So you're going to need those uh, a little bit later. Now the only other thing that's in the box is the usual instructions that everybody throws away. But just to be sure, I went ahead and read them and take a look at it. And sure enough, I confirmed everything that uh, I need to do. I need to plug in everything. Well, here's the cables you're going to need. Now this is an HDMI to a TV. And it plugs into, not that, that's the DVI. If you have a DVI connection, you can use that. Now, this is a uh, keyboard and a mouse that I had laying around. You can also plug in a wireless one as well. Uh, but for right now, uh, I'm just doing all old USB, old standard USB stuff I had laying around. And there, if you have one of these, a wireless connector, you can plug that into one of your USB ports as well. So, using... Uh, those components, I uh, had plugged everything into the display port on your right, and of course the uh, cable going from the display port I haven't plugged into the phone yet, and it should auto detect. But there also is an app that's on the phone called Continuum of All Things, and you click here and it says Welcome to, and it says Set Up. So we go over here and it's asking if you're going to do a wired dock or a wireless adapter, uh, so you can do a wireless connection to your dock as well, which would be great. Uh, but right now we're just going to do the wired one. So uh, once it detects all the connections, it'll be a continue button down here. So obviously I had something wrong. So I'll go ahead and reconnect, try a couple of things and see what happens. Uh, so don't worry, if it doesn't show up, just check your connections because uh, it'll eventually work. Well, a button will show up at the bottom and it'll say continue. And all you have to do is press that to go to your uh, next screen, which it fires up the TV and all that. And you'll see something like this. You'll see a connection that says... Oh, adjust your TV. And if you look very closely at the TV in the background, there's an arrow making sure that the dimensions of it. But uh, mine's fine, so all I had to do was uh, click on Next, and uh, I'm off and running with Continuum. So uh, I click on that, and it wants to do a demo. And it's, with me, it was a very loud, I took the sound out. It was a very loud and annoying demo, but it starts a demo uh, showing how it powers a second screen. So let's get right into it instead of playing with a demo. Um, if we go here, and I know I have control of my mouse, I watch the screen, there's my mouse wiggling, and down here I have a Windows uh, icon. I click there, and look at that. I have a start menu. And it's taken the programs that I have installed in my start menu on my phone and put them up here. Now, one thing to be said about this, you can't add and remove stuff to your start menu through this interface. It's, it is what it is. But I fired up here uh, the money application uh, renders full screen. I can use it just like I was using it on the phone or on a PC. Uh, and I can do multiple ones. I can uh, fire up something else as well. Now, if you haven't discovered already, there's a group of little icons in one of the squares here, a group together with their utilities. And one of them is your file explorer. And I clicked on it, and now I'm looking at files. I'm seeing uh, here's my folders and all that, and I can browse through them, pictures and all that. So uh, it's my, basically a file explorer uh, that comes with your phone. But now we're seeing it on the screen. So if we keep looking around uh, on our interface, uh, we can close apps down, by the way, the same way you would do it in, in regular Windows. Uh, you simply go to the top right-hand corner and click on it to close an application down. And here's the money apps to run in the background. But also we can do other things. Like if I click on the settings icon, and there's the settings, just like you would see on a PC, uh, where they're uh, available for you to change your settings on your phone, just right through the PC uh, screen. Um, so same functionality, basically, uh, but just on a bigger screen. Now, there are some apps that won't work in the bigger screen. They're not configured or written correctly to do so. As a matter of fact, I tried to open up the Amazon app, and when I did, it came up with a message on the screen and said, we can't open that app here. There's a learn more about it, but uh, we're just going to go click on open, and you'll notice that it's still open. It just opened on the original screen on the phone, so it still works. It just doesn't. You have to use it there instead. 
And so I tried another one. Uh, I tried the, actually, believe it or not, the Xbox uh, app, and it gave me the same uh, problem. So when I clicked on Xbox over here, it said the same thing. I clicked on it, and sure enough, it opened on the phone. Now, I may never be able to be run on the TV screen because it's a certain way it interacts with the screen for your controller and that. You need the touch screen, for example. Uh, but uh, basically, it still will run any application on your phone. It just won't always display on your screen. So there's your uh, display dock adapter. Now, what can you use it for besides uh, a second screen? Well, let's say you have a, another device like a hard drive or something you want to transfer files with. You can hook up to this uh, with a USB 2.0 interface. Uh, let's say you want to have a, your monitor has more than one HDMI connection or an HDMI and a DVI connection. You can have a cable permanently connected up to the dock. You come home, plug in your phone, and you can control your phone right there we're using the same monitor you use for your PC. All sorts of possibilities. I hope you enjoy it and uh, I'm starting to warm up to it already. Uh, and a really great little utility and uh, hardware from Microsoft. Hey and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos all here to help you make the most out of your system.